guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing the potato book tag. And I die if you want to destroy my sweater. So basically I was tagged to do this by Peter from Peter Likes Books, who is a lovely channel, who has a lovely channel. He's not is a channel. Whatever. He's fabulous. I love him so much. And this tag was originally created by Ola, so I'll have both of those links in the description box for you guys to check out. First question is raw potato. They're okay. They're raw okay, but they can become whatever you wish. A character with potential potential to be anything they wanted. These questions are hard. Like I was looking over them and I was like. I don't know. A character with potential to be whatever they wanted or be whoever they are is, I'm gonna go with the girl Julia from the one and only Ivan. I think she has so much potential and she's done so much at a young age and I think she really has potential to grow as she grows up and to, uh, she has potential. She can be anything she wants. She seems fabulous. Mashed potatoes, it goes with, it goes well with anything or alone. A character that would get along with anyone in any book or any world hard for me because uh, for some reason the horrible characters are the ones that are memorable for me say like laura jean from to all the boys i've loved before would get along with most people but like some people may find her really annoying <laughs> and immature potato delicious also thanks to their filling a book series that is packed with information that and it's but it's still enjoyable a book series that's a book or a series that's packed with information Ooh, hunger by roxane gay that is so good, so informative, so great, but so raw and real and just absolutely incredible. Everyone should read Hunger. Great piece of work. French fries. You can't stop eating them once you start a book or series you couldn't put down. There are so many. <laughs> um, recently, War Cross by Mary Lou. You guys know I had a moment with that book. <laughs> like, I needed breathers. Like, I had to force myself to sleep. <laughs> Um, but something that I literally couldn't stop reading, like I was glued to, that I couldn't make myself stop reading, was probably Bound to You by Sylvia Day, just some, or Bare to You by Sylvia Day, just some um, romance smut thingy. Chips. They're potatoes, but not real potatoes. They've been processed too much. A book or character that is labeled labels themselves as something, and they're, they're not. Okay, um, so Ramona Blue by Julie, Julie Murphy. It's fantastic. It's a YA contemporary. It's about a girl who has identified as lesbian, but over the course of the novel, she realizes that maybe she labeled herself too soon. So that's kind of my answer to that question. And I just love that book so, so much. And it's so real to me. Did Peter talk about that book in his video too? I think so, it's been a while, but yeah, that book is amazing. I love Ramona Blue. Potato, plain. Would need some condiments, but what? A book that wasn't either bad or good, but was lacking in your opinion. Die at the End by Adam Silvera. That wasn't bad, like I liked it better than History's All You Left Me, but this book just wasn't, it just lacked something for me. I felt like the romance was very forced and I didn't feel a strong connection between the two other than like a friendship kind of connection, but I didn't feel this romantic relationship between them that developed, so it just wasn't that's what lacked was a good romance i guess and it didn't even need a romance it just it was trying to be something it wasn't just like the other question says dang the soup will always make you feel better anti reading slump book probably a colleen hoover book just not without merit because that one sucks and so does november 9. a ton of YA contemporaries are always good for that so like light ones preferably well dark ones are good for me to get out of slumps but <laughs> some light ones could be the Phil and Boyfriend by Casey West. Um, Casey West is always good for that stuff if you guys are interested in trying to get out of a slump or just you don't feel like reading or you just need a game changer. Something quick. I don't know. Genocchi. Genocchi. Or it's... N I'm Italian. I should know this. Um, Genocchi. Nocchi. Then a nocchi. Uh, whatever. A foreign potato recipe. I did a verse book or character. What I Lost by Alexander Ballard. Funny enough, I'm showing so many books that are my favorites of this year in this video, but I'm honestly kind of just looking around me because usually I pre-plan tag videos, but this time I was like, you know what, Julia, your makeup's done. Let's be spontaneous. I'm uploading every day. Let's do it. So yeah, but What I Lost is amazing. It's a book about um, a girl who struggles with anorexia and goes to a um, facility for people with eating disorders and it's so educational, so, so 
thought provoking and it deals really really well with top like the topic of an eating disorder and just the whole facility in general was portrayed really really well potatoes crunchy on the outside soft in the inside a character that goes through hardship but stays soft i know so many characters that go through shit but they're not usually soft like the girl and the female of the species she's gone through a lot of shit but she's not soft Yes, I'm going to go with a real person, so that is Connor Franta, and he wrote Note to Self and a work in progress, and he's just been through a lot of experiences, and he's remained really humble and honest, and he's just a great person, and I would love to meet him. <laughs> and the last question, I think, is kind of like your favorite potato, like, make your own question, or it's like, fave potato, pick your fave type of potato, create your own question, and answer it yourself. Feel free to use the previous one, but still create a new question or give another different answer. My bonus question, this was mashed potatoes, a book I was excited for and sure I'd love, but was not done well and I didn't like. Ooh. Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Eugenides. That book I was so excited for. The Virgin Suicides is one of my favorite books and I hated the marriage plot and I could not finish it. So yeah. So that was the potato book tag again i'll have the creator and peter linked in the description box for you guys and i'm going to be tagging um i'm going to be tagging jay from the awkward bookworm i'm going to be tagging um Sajid from books on my social life and taylor from literature and jesse from jesse's shelf so i'll have all their links down below great channels definitely check them out and thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye